All right, so this is the equipment you need to do the burning food practical. When you're setting up your Bunsen burner, very important, this is the hose that goes onto the gas tap. Make sure you push it firmly on and that it's not loose. To turn on the gas, you lift this up and twist it and you can hear it. To turn it off, twist it the other way. And as you can see on the gas tap, it says on and off. Now we want to use five milliliters of water each time and we're gonna use this a measuring cylinder to measure out those five milliliters. So I've got my water in the beaker and I'm gonna go down to the eye line. Okay, here's the five. Now I'm gonna very carefully pour in the water until it reaches the five mark. Okay, perfect. So that's our five milliliters of water and I'm going to pour it into the boiling tube. Now, as you can see, the boiling tube isn't straight up like this, but I've tilted it to one side. That's important because if the heat was directly below it like this, you would burn the plastic on the clamp. That's also why you want your clamp to be near the top of the boiling tube because if you heat it too close, the plastic on this will melt and catch fire. So you want your heat source to be here above the heat proof mat with nothing directly above it. This is the mounting needle. This is what you're gonna be attaching the food to. So I'm gonna try and push it through this Cheerio. There we go, just like that. And then you want your thermometer to measure the temperature of the water before and afterwards to go in like that. So as you can see, the temperature on the thermometer is 20 and then it goes up four lines, so 24 degrees Celsius. So now we're gonna look at how to light the Bunsen burner. So when you light it, you want this to be closed. So with the air hole closed, you want to collect your fire from the teacher's desk using a splint. And you want to bring it over to your station very carefully. Now your splint that's lit should be over the mouth of the Bunsen burner before you touch the gas tap. Okay. Once again, make sure that the hole is closed. Be standing back and then turn the gas on. Okay. Now, when you're lighting your food on fire, you want to use the blue flame. So you want to open this air hole and you can hear it. The flame is now roaring. This blue flame is what we use to heat things in science. When you're not using it, you want to turn it back onto the orange safety flame. So everyone can see that and we know that this Bunsen burner is lit. When you turn your Bunsen burner off, once again, make sure your face is not above it. Okay. This right now is going to be extremely hot. It's metal, remember? So I'm not going to grab this. I'm going to wait for it to cool down uh, before I put it away. So now we're ready to burn our first food sample. You want to get your food sample and push the mounting needle through it so it's firmly attached. Then you want to uh, record the starting temperature. Don't forget to do this. Ours was 24 degrees Celsius. Now you want to set the food on fire using your Bunsen burner. Make sure the food is on fire okay there we go and you want to heat the water in the boiling tube using that flame all right if it goes out before all of the food is used you can relight it with the bunsen burner like mine has so i'm going to hold it once again over the bunsen burner wait for it to relight Okay, 
and then hold that flame back underneath the boiling tube. And you want to do this until all of the food is burned. So you want to release all of that energy from the food and use it to heat the water in the boiling tube. Okay, that's completely burnt out now. So you can wait for the food and the mounting needle to cool down and record the temperature of the water, the new temperature of the water now that it's been heated. And as you can see, the new temperature of the water is 33 degrees Celsius. Now we're done, we want to take the thermometer out Put it somewhere that it can't roll off the table and we want to change this water and make sure the boiling tube is not hot and then remove it from the clamp stand pour the warm water into the sink and then it's ready to go again because we want to use fresh water each time so it starts at the same temperature